vlog welcome back to another vlog <laughs> i was gonna make some bread and i was gonna make banana bread from scratch and then i remembered that for some strange reason i had this in the press i must have been really hungry one day you know sometimes when you're so hungry and you go shopping and then you just buy the most random shit because you're hungry this must have been one of those purchases because i don't ever buy like ready-made stuff because i like to uh like if I'm cooking something, I like to cook it from scratch. But while this is here, we may as well make some bread. So let's make banana bread. Never mind, I'm not gonna use this because I just checked and it was like out of date last year. <laughs> November 2019. Which realistically, it would probably still be fine because it's like a powder. But then I googled it and then I saw toxic and like all these words so I'm like you know what I have everything else just to make it from scratch so let's just be on the safe side and do that instead so yeah <laughs> forget that recipe called for three quarters of a cup of sugar i only put like less than a half in and i used whole wheat sugar or i used whole wheat flour um so i used a cup of whole wheat flour and then a half a cup of self-raising flour um what else did i use different and i used brown sugar rather than white sugar and i had two bananas because that's all i had so i think that's the only difference if you do decide to make it you can alter it however you see fit. So this is what happens when I don't wash my brushes in forever. It builds up 
to one big gigantic pile which is ridiculous i definitely do not need this amount of brushes but what happens is when i get new brushes in pr i just take them and put them into my new pile then i have new brushes and it just amounts to this amount which i do not need so i think i'm gonna wash all these and then just get rid of a good bunch of them because I this is just too many. I thought I would show you how I wash my brushes because I've gotten asked this question quite a bit in the past. Um, so I'm going to show you how I wash my brushes. But I'm first going to divide them into their own little sections because I wash different brushes differently. So I'm just going to do all that first. Okay, so I have my brushes all divided here so in this one it's powder brushes so like a bronzer blush setting powder anything like that these are the easiest to clean because there's powder in them easier to come out and um, these ones here are foundation cream contour concealer any type of liquid these ones are harder to clean obviously because it's a liquid formula in the brushes so they're their own pile so these are more powder brushes just smaller ones and then here I have my detailing brushes. So most of these I use with a liquid or a gel type product. So these are a little bit harder to clean. So some of these will have like brow pomade in it. Some of them will have like liner. Um, or if I'm blending out a, a pencil liner under my eyes, I'll use one of these type brushes. So these brushes are a little bit harder to clean. So I wash these differently than how I wash these ones. So that's why I like to just divide everything so then I know where I'm going. And I usually start with the foundation and concealer brushes because they're a pain to do. Because some of these have to be washed twice. So I start with them, get them all out of the way and then I usually jump straight into powder brushes. But um, yeah, let's jump in with these and I'll show you how I wash them. Okay, so I have just a little bowl of warm water here and then I have this little mat. It's a little brush cleaning mat. Um, I can't remember where I got this one. I think I got this in like a dollar store or something like that. I do also have a Sigma one, but uh, I don't know. I kind of just like this one a little bit better. So I'm gonna use this one today. The grooves on these little mats just really help uh, break up the product when you're cleaning it, but I'll show you that in a second. So I'm just taking one of my foundation brushes and I wet it a little bit in the bowl. And then I just take some baby shampoo and I put some squirts just on the mat. I'll just go in circular motions. Okay, I need a bit more water in that. So you want it to get nice and sooty. So you can see here with the grooves then, that's helping the product break up. And then I just squeeze out the excess and that is one brush done. So you don't want to go too hard, but you don't want to be like too soft like that. Otherwise you'll never get it. And you don't want to be like digging it into the mat. But you just, you want to be firm with it. Because, you know, you need to get in there and get the product out. So I'm going to give that a rinse in this water here. Just to see how it's looking. So that's actually looking pretty clean. So... go in then with my little eyeshadow brushes uh, I usually do like a handful of these at a time so I'll probably do like three or four at a time let's do three so I'll take these three that are similar in size and I do just the exact same thing so I just wet them and then in circular motions <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to show you how I clean these little definer brushes. So I just get a little bit of kitchen roll, put that down, and then I'm going to take my MAC brush cleaner. And I just put some on one side of the tissue. And then I just go in. And then on the flat brushes, I like to kind of go back and forth like this. So go like flat like this, and then wiggle it. And it helps just get in there and break up the product. 
do I do that? And then I have just another tissue here that I just wipe, that I squeeze out the excess. Boom, clean. So then this one here is one of my brow brushes. So it has the cream brow product in it. I like to just put it flat and go back and forth and you can see then it's just really breaking the product up. So with the flat, flat brushes like this, I don't really go in circles. I more so go back and forth like that because you don't wanna disrupt like the bristles. Cause if you go in there and get too crazy, you'll end up moving the bristles and they could spread out. And um, so you want this to remain, like to hold its shape. So what else have we got here? We have one of these little roundy ones. So obviously we can do that one in a circular motion. So I usually, with the round brushes, I will do circular motions because that's kind of the shape of the brush. And then with the flat brushes, I go back and forth. Like back and forth and then do little wiggles. So by going with the shape of the brush, you're just helping preserve the actual shape of the brush because you don't want to ruin your brushes. So you want to be able to clean them and get them to hold their shape. And that, my friends, is pretty much how I clean my brushes. So I have all those done. I still have to go through these ones, which I might just do tomorrow instead because I'm not in the mood. But I'm glad I got a good chunk of them done already. 